Okay, so this video is going to show you um, real quick how to add a second business location to your Google My Business page. So what you're going to want to do is um, you can go to google.com and you can sign in to your um, Google account or you can just simply go to business dot google dot com and when you get there if you're not already logged in it will ask you to log in so if you're on a particular location um, let's choose um, let me see what is one we'll choose one from the front okay so let's say that um, you have a location and you want to add another location so when you go to your Google my business page at first and you see your current location you can basically um, now I'm actually managing several locations so um, I have a little bit different view than you would but if you wanted to look at your location let's say that you log in and you're looking um, you're gonna land on your home page like this well, what you're going to want to do is scroll down along on the navigation and you'll see where it says add new location. So you're not actually creating a new Google My Business page. You're keeping, you're adding a location, a second location to this, the Google My Business page that you already have. So when you add that new location, it's going to ask you to type the name of your business. Well, here's, here's where it gets a little bit tricky. If you type in your um, business name, it's already going to see um, that it's got um, an address here and then it's going to have another address so if you go through here it says it's already been claimed um, but you you can see that um, it'll go through there and look for it now let's let's go to a different one and see that doesn't have a location on it and see if we can add um, um, let me see if we can add that's weird it's got Roland Park and okay so let's say we wanted to add a new location and if we put um, KC um, professional wallpapering see it's already got it's already pulling it up the, the one location but we don't want to use that location that is our location um, but we already have that one verified we already have the address claimed and verified so what we want to do is create a business with this name okay so it's gonna have the same name but we're gonna create a business with this name and when you do that um, what it's gonna do is ask you for the name and then you click next and then you're going to go through the process of adding in your business category. Um, we're just going to put, I don't know if they have, um, wall, I don't think they have wallpapering, so we'll just put wallpaper. Then you click next and you just go through that process. The location will show up on Google Maps and search when customers are looking. Do you want to add a location customers can visit like a store or office? So if you've got a physical location, then the answer to that is yes. So the point is, is that sometimes I have people um, when they get to this stage right here and they go to type in their business and they see their location in here if you click on that it'll tell you that it's already been claimed and you don't want to claim you you're you can't claim something that's already been claimed so you just want to make sure that when you type it in the name of your business that you choose the one that says that you want to create a business with this name okay and then go ahead and follow because you're wanting to create a second location and then what happens is when you create that second location like we can come down here to this particular one for real world cleaning services and they actually have now you can't see it from my point of view because um, I don't have that kind of access but um, I'm just a manager I don't have an admin so on on my page I can see several locations but if this was your business page and you had this business you would see three different locations now the difference is that when you create a 
new location in order to grant me um, manager access to your locations. If you went into one, you have to go into all of them. So going into one location grants me access to that location only. It does not grant me access to the other one. So you have to repeat that process to go through there and add me to each one. So if I was to click on one of these and you wanted to go down here and see users, you can click on that and it will tell you that there's a primary owner and then there's a manager. Now I can remove myself if I if I wanted to, um, but um, you have to actually go through. So even though you've got one Google My Business page, you'll have you can have multiple locations, and each of those locations you have to assign a new user to whoever it is that you want to have access to that page. So if you have any questions, feel free to email me, Tony at MadeServicesMarketing.com or Tony at uh, Tony'sWebDesign.com, and I'll be happy to assist.